My husband died of sepsis following a bowel operation and it was a very unexpected outcome because he had no other health conditions. So for him to die within three days of his operation was an absolute total shock. I feel that I was expected to just accept that sepsis was, was an unfortunate outcome of his operation and I needed to have answers around what actually happened to him. A month later when I met with the surgeon and he disclosed to me that my husband's operation had clashed with an on-call situation where the, the team were covering on-call as well as doing my husband's elective surgery. I had huge issues around that and I, I just felt that that issue had contributed to my husband's sepsis and I, I just had so many questions. Instead of being supportive of a, of a bereaved family, I felt they were starting to treat me like as if I was a potential risk to them. Everybody needs to have an understanding that so many people are damaged in the fallout of these adverse incidents and everybody has the right to be supported. So to be bereaved in a healthcare incident, it adds a whole new layer of grief. And if, you, if you're left floundering around for years on your own, I think that, that just compounds, that creates more harm. It, it's, it's, it's an additional harm to the, to the family. The culture is changing to one of uh, acknowledging and supporting, supporting both the patient and the medical person involved. I've been witnessing the, this policy evolving over a number of years now and I know it's been catapulted into a, a whole new level of awareness in the last year, but I actually welcome the policy and if it's fully implemented, I'd like the medical people to give it a chance and I think patients should give it an opportunity to work as well and to trust that there is now a good mechanism for making this part of our culture. We just want to get to the truth and be supported in, in, in our in, in getting to the truth.